गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आशीष पंचल फ्रॉम त्रिशा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बायोलॉजी इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दी ग्रोथ रेट एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रोथ रेट नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस डिफ्रेंशिएशन डी डिफ्रेंशिएशन एंड दी री डिफ्रेंशिएशन सो वट आर द टर्म डी डिफ्रेंशिएशन डिफ्रेंशिएशन एंड दी री डिफ्रेंशिएशन वी ऑल नो दैट इन दी अपाइकल पार्ट ऑफ द रूट और अपाइकल पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेम पर्जेज द अपाइकल मैरिज स्टेम एंड एज वी डिस्कस अर्लियर द मैरिस्मेटिक सेल हैज हाई सेल डिविजन कैपेसिटी बट वेन दिस अपाइकल मैरिस्मेटिक सेल लूज देर सेल डिविजन कैपेसिटी एंड दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू परमानेंट टिश्यू दैट इज प्राइमरी परमानेंट टिश्यू फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल इट इज पेरेंग कैमेटर सेल दे आर दी parenchymal parenchymal cells, cells, then sclerenchymal cells, or it may be a collenchymal cell. So once the primary meristematic tissue lose their cell division capacity and they are converted into primary parent permanent tissue like parenchymal cells, this process is known as the differentiation. Now during the differentiation, the when the meristematic cell convert into the permanent tissue it shows certain changes so during the differentiation the primary meristematic cell shows the certain morphological and the structural changes now which type of changes is there so for an example like trichel that is xylem element the, the trichelary element would lose their protoplasma because we all know that in the xylem vessels and the xylem tracheids okay they do not possess the protoplasma they are the dead tissue so during the conversion of primary meristem to primary permanent tissue the trichelary elements would lose their protoplasma also it develop the strong elastic lignocellulose cell wall and it inhibit or it impermeable to water transportation that's why the xylem vessels and the tracheids is conduct the water up to the long distance under the extreme pressure also okay now once this primary permanent tissue which type of living primary permanent tissue like the parenchymal cells again regain the cell division power again or regain the cell division power that process is called the de differentiation means what happen in the de differentiation in de differentiation the primary permanent tissue again regain the cell division capacity and they are converted into secondary meristematic tissue for an example during the secondary growth okay in the dicot stem suppose this is the section of the dicot stem and we know that in dicot stem it possesses the vascular tissue right here it possesses the xylem phloem xylem phloem and in center in between this vascular tissue it possesses the medullary rays okay so the cambium present between the xylem and phloem is known as the fascicular cambium and the secondary medullary rays cell of the secondary medullary rays is converted into meristematic cell is known as the interfascicular cambium it is called the interfascicular cambium so this interfascicular cambium is formed from the primary parenchymal cells this primary parenchymal cells again regain their cell division capacity and they are converted into secondary meristematic cell similarly cork cell convert into the cork cambium it is also the process of de differentiation now once the secondary meristematic tissue is again lose their cell division capacity again lose their cell division capacity and they are converted into secondary permanent tissue this is known as the re differentiation and the certain secondary permanent tissue example are the secondary xylem secondary phloem and the secondary medullary rays 
okay so this is all about the de differentiation differentiation and the re differentiation in simple primary meristematic tissue differentiated and it convert into the primary permanent tissue means once the meristematic tissue lost their cell division capacity they are converted into permanent tissue this process is called the differentiation when this primary permanent tissue again regain the cell division capacity and it become the secondary meristematic tissue it is known as the de differentiation and at last secondary meristematic tissue again lost their cell division capacity and they are converted into secondary permanent tissue this is known as the re differentiation process clear so this is all about the differentiation de differentiation and the re differentiation in next video we will discuss the development of the plant thank you